In this video, we will go through the compulsory algebra questions from one CXC CSEC paper to examination. To get the most out of this video, pause it here and attempt each part. If you are stuck on any, check the description below for the link to the video that covered that topic. Check out my playlist for comprehensive coverage of the topic algebra. Post a comment. Let me know how you are managing. Last chance to pause the video. Okay, let's go. To write as a single fraction, we're going to add both fractions together. To add both fractions together, we're going to express both fractions over the same denominator. We're going to use the LCM as that denominator. The LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. So we're going to express the first fraction over 12. To get 12 as the denominator, we needed to multiply the denominator by 4. So we have to multiply the numerator by 4 as well to maintain the equivalence. We're going to add it to the second fraction over 12. 4 to get 12 we multiply by 3 so we multiply 3 by x minus 4 as well. Now that we have both fractions over the same denominator we can simply add the numerator. Expanding the brackets 4 by 2x is equal to 8x. 4 by 3 is equal to 12. Positive 12. Added to 3 multiplied by x is 3x. 3 multiplied by negative 4 is negative 12. 8x plus 3x is equal to 11x. 12 subtract 12 is 0. All over 12. The answer is 11x over 12. Part B. Write the following statement as an algebraic expression. So the sum of a number, that number we don't know, so let's call it x, and its multiplicative inverse. The multiplicative inverse is the same as the reciprocal, so 1 over x. The sum refers to the result under addition. So x plus 1 over x is equal to 5 times the number. The number we are referring to as x, so 5 times that number, x. So there we have it, x plus 1 over x is equal to 5x. Part C, factorize completely. We should be able to recognize this as difference of two squares because x squared is the same as x squared and 36 is the same as 6 squared. So we'd get x minus 6, x plus 6. Factorize completely 2x squared plus 5x minus 12. We need to see what two numbers multiply to give 2 by negative 12 is negative 24. But add to give positive 5. The factors of negative 24 are negative 1, positive 24. Positive 1, negative 24. Negative 2, positive 12. Positive 2, negative 12. 3. Negative 3, positive 8, positive 3, negative 8, positive 4, negative 6, negative 4, positive 6, and 5. 5 is not a factor of 24. So we have all the pairs of factors of negative 24 listed. Which pair of factors add to give positive 5? Positive 23, negative 23. Positive 10, negative 10. Positive 5. So this is the pair of factors we're looking at. So we're going to replace in this problem 5x with negative 3x plus 8x. And we're going to factorize by grouping. The HCF of the first two terms is x. We're going to multiply x by 2x to get 2x squared. And we're going to multiply x by negative 3 to get negative 3x. Keeping the same thing in brackets. 2x multiplied by positive 4 gives positive 8x. And we want to confirm that positive 4 by negative 3 is negative 12. So this line is correct. We're going to factorize by HCF. Common term is 2x minus 3. And we multiply by x to get the first term, 
and multiply by positive 4 to get the second term. And we are finished with the factorization. The formula for the volume of a cylinder is given by V is equal to pi r squared each. Make r the subject of the formula. With bod mass, we'll square the r first. So we're going to square the r first. And then we're going to multiply by pi each. So when we are removing items from the right hand side, we are going to go in the order opposite to bod mass, which means we're going to remove pi each first, and then we're going to remove the squared sign. So we're going to remove pi each first, so we divide both sides by pi each. The pi is cancel, the each is cancel. So we remain with v over pi each is equal to r squared. Now we want to get rid of the squared sign. We are going to take the square root of both sides to remove the squared sign. And taking the square root of a squared leaves the power 1. So r to the first power which is equal to r. r is equal to the square root of v over pi each. And a final question. Given that x squared plus ax plus b is equal to x plus 2 squared minus 3, we'll call the values of a and b. It is easiest if we simplify the right hand side and then equate. Taking the right hand side, we have x plus 2 squared on the right hand side minus 3. And that is equal to x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 minus 3. x by x is equal to x squared. x by positive 2 is equal to positive 2x. Positive 2 by x is equal to positive 2x. Positive 2 by positive 2 is equal to positive 4 minus 3. x squared, only one x squared term. We have 2x plus 2x. We add them to get 4x. And we have positive 4 minus 3, which is equal to positive 1. And we are given that the right hand side is equal to the left hand side. is equal to x squared plus ax plus b. So we see here that a is equal to 4. Thus, a is equal to 4. And b is equal to one. I am Mr. Dubey. If you found this video useful, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.